This is Damon Fordham, adjunct professor of history at the Citadel and author and historian. And I'm here to talk a little bit about uh, the importance of ancestors. Malcolm X, when he gave a speech in Los Angeles in 1962, said that you could never do anything unless you thought you did anything. And here's a good example of that. In my uh, recent tour of Africa, I one of, the, one of the people who I met there on both this trip and my last was a young lady who I'm proud to call my Wolof sister. Her name's Kaidi Ba. She works at, as a tour guide at one of the museums in Dakar in Senegal, West Africa. And she also studies at the University of Dakar. And very sweet young lady. Uh, you know, many of the people of Senegal believe that I'm of the Wolof people and because of my features, and I've come to see that there's a lot of truth to that. And so we met. Uh, she could literally passed for my sister or my daughter. But anyway, we were at the museum during a visit there recently, and she told us this fascinating story about a queen of the Wolofs back in the 1800s by the name of Indante Yala Mboj. This Indante Yala Mboj basically led a group of women warriors against the French and the Moroccans when they were tried to invade the modern day nation of Senegal. And so this lady was such a threat to the French and the Moroccans that they chased her into a hut around 1860 and set fire to the hut. And that's how she died. That was the only way that they could defeat her. Well, Kaidiba added that the, before this happened, Queen Indante Yalamuj had a number of children. And among those children were her ancestors. And she smiled and pointed at pride with the picture of Queen and Dante Yala Mboje and said, yes, this is my ancestor. And you can see this in the way Kaidi carries herself as a very intelligent, well-spoken, multilingual young lady. And I told her that young people like her are not only the future, the hope for the future of Africa, but for the future of humanity. Now, it's great that she has these type of ancestors that she could be proud of, that she could use as a source of strength whenever she may feel down. But what if you are one of these young people that don't have ancestors like that? There are a lot of young people out there who have ancestors who went to did nothing but uh, have prison records or substance abuse or histories of violence and that sort of thing. And there are those who don't even know their ancestors at all. I was adopted. I didn't know I, about anything about my ancestors until I was 35 years old. So what can you do if you're in that type of situation that you have nobody in your family background that you could look back on and be proud? Here's the answer to that. The great educator, Booker T. Washington, born in slavery. He knew nothing about his ancestry because, you know, he was in slavery and all of that. But yet he went on to become the founder, of, the co-founder of Tuskegee University down in Alabama and the bet, one of the best known black leaders of his time, having lunch with President Theodore Roosevelt and starting, not helping not only to start Tuskegee University, but many of his other students such as Elizabeth Evelyn Wright, who started Voorhees College in South Carolina, and uh, William Edwards, who started Snow Hill Academy in Alabama, who's also the great-grandfather of the filmmaker Spike Lee and so forth, and many other such schools throughout the South. Well, Booker T. Washington had this to say about growing up and not knowing anything about his ancestry. He said these words, years ago I resolved, that because I had no ancestry myself, I would leave a record of which my children would be proud and which might encourage them to higher effort. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have ancestors that you could be proud of, you could look around you to other people who might serve as a role model for you, and you can make a determination to make yourself into such a person that either children, your nieces and nephews and younger cousins and even unrelated young people around you can look up to you and be proud of you and be inspired 
to go on to do great things. So if you have great ancestors, you know, learn about them and use them as a model for strength. But if you don't, remember the words of Booker T. Washington in his book, Up From Slavery, back in 1901. And if you didn't have those type of great ancestors, make yourself into such a person that others will be proud of you and still be inspired to higher effort. This is Damon Fordham.